Hi folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Glad you're with me. I've got to start off today with a somber tone though. Accusation has been made that I, Max Stevens, have been guilty of bad panning of the camera. <laughs> oh, that just opened up a big old can of worms. I can't really uh, contest that though, because that was my producer that said that. So he's got me this cool gizmo that just mag magnif magnetifies itself and attaches to my shirt. And it's got a stick on the camera that I had before, but now fits on the magnetized part. So we should be able to do that, 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 with a whole lot more finesse. All right, that's been dealt with. Guilty. So let's go to the cat house again. Yeah, I know a few weeks ago we went out to a uh, little tiny town, Texas, way out in the sticks, where the men are men and sheep are mighty nervous, and uh, we went to, to old Stan's place where he keeps, right now, at last count, uh, this morning's count, I think it was, 37 cats. He uh, rescues them, takes care of them, takes great care of them. Uh, they live better than a lot of people do, deservedly so, because they're cats. They deserve everything. And uh, he's got some more records for me to go through. And uh, he's got some songs to pitch at me. And we'll just go out there and enjoy. It's probably the only trip I'll, or stop I'll make today because that usually takes a while. So let's go take a while and see. Might be a short episode, might be a great one. Who in the heck knows? Well, cool, I'm in another little tiny town. And uh, these are sometimes really cool. And strange. Oh my. So anyway, it's about a perfect day today. It's nice and cool. Probably going to hit 90 on Wednesday. Right now it's Monday. I better avoid that truck. Anyway. Yeah, this is definitely small town Texas. Holy jeans store. Nope, it looks good, but it is closed. Dang it. Looked like it could have been a good uh, thrift shop. Put that away for future reference. You know, at some point, we ought to have a discussion about eBay uh, etiquette or warnings, etc. Let me know what you'd like to talk about. You know, we can make this a uh, bit of a forum where things can be brought up and such. One thing in particular, a friend wrote to me, howdy Jim, that. Uh, there's a record that he really wanted that's on eBay. It's been offered a few times. Nobody's bit yet, but he's got the price down fairly low. Pretty low, really, for what it is. So, um, a friend who lives, oh, I don't know, a long way from there, wrote to the seller, hey, uh, and it's a 78 record. That's kind of important. Uh, he said, uh, listen, I'm willing to drive down there and pick it up. Being a 78, you don't want that thing mailed, especially if it's not a record person. It's going to end up getting broken or it's misgraded. So uh, he said, I'm willing to go down there and drive down there and pick it up, pay you cash. Well, you know, that's great. eBay gets their fee, but then he doesn't have to worry the, you know, about the uh, PayPal taking out the fee, you know, the seller is going to receive all the money. That sounds like a great thing. The seller said, no, no, I don't want you doing that. That's a red flag. I've done this before and I've driven uh, a thousand miles once to pick up a rare sun record. A good seller, you know, unless there's some extenuating circumstances where they just simply can't, will agree to do that, especially if it's a uh, real valuable record. In fact, most would rather you come see it, look at it, approve it, pay it, and get gone. Then they don't have to mail it, package it, insure it, have it show, get lost, show not broken, then go through the insurance thing, and insurance with the post office isn't worth uh, what you're paying for it. They don't honor their claims now, for the most part. I'm looking into the stamps by mail, it's, or stamps.com, whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, he's wanting to do that, and they're saying no, that's a huge red flag. I mean, a monstrous red flag. I'm thinking probably the record has a crack in it. 
or has some sort of damage. Then you wrap up a record that is broken, you insure it. Of course, they probably don't know about how bad the insurance is nowadays anyway. They mail it, friend gets it, opens it, it's broken, and then he's got to go through the process. And then, of course, the seller would get his money back on insurance and then, you know, it's kind of scammy. It's not kind of, it is scammy. That's a big red flag. Watch out for this stuff. Dang, I've talked a lot this morning. We're getting closer. I've got, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. Till we get to the cat house. My wife said it's okay if I went too. Well, we're going to the cat house. Maybe gonna have a fall. Well, we're going to the cat house, baby, going to have a ball. We're going to visit those cats and then have some alcohol. Okay, it ain't Shakespeare, but I'm just making that up as I go along. All right, let's go have some fun. Pet on some cats. Admire the yucca. I like that stuff. I plant that stuff uh, under each of my windows in my house. <laughs> oh, man. You ain't going to come breaking in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got some oaky stuff. Ooh, that's kind of pop on the Play Me label. Hmm. A what? Play Me label out of Tulsa. That was a Curtis Long label. Yeah, I guess they did a couple of pop things. Five masks. Actually, booked a little high. I was surprised. Yep. When I looked, I mean, not high, high, but you know, I'll buy a camera. Yeah. I took some copies of the ones I had extra copies and kept them. Yeah. Shan. I mean, not, not from my collection, but for Austin. Heck yeah. What that you say, honey? Will I what? Chantilly lace number two. Country. It's a rocker. I mean, like one side, yeah. Yeah. Type stuff. From a. It's not early. It's late 50s. Yeah. 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 Ever found much of the garage band stuff from Quakel? I have. I've had some of those Mark Sevens before. Yeah, that's what I want to ask you. Yes, about. I have. I've probably found half a dozen or so. I know the first week that I was started doing records full time back in '05, I found the uh, Pandora's box. That's not hard to find. No, nah, but that was one handed to me for free. I mean, that was a that was yeah. an easy three hundred dollars. No, uh, a lot have turned up. There's a lot more of them. Here. Of that one for some reason. Because I've run into that one number of times. Well, I had fun. I don't record, like I say, when I'm in a lot of people's houses. You know, especially if their wife's there. You know, most people don't care, or guys, if you go. But if the wife finds out somebody's videotaping in their house, and they things ain't exactly the way they thought it should be, you know, they might just kill the old husband. We don't want that, especially if they've got records. But I do have some really nice 45s. I bought some strange, weird, and eclectic things. Stan's a good guy and uh, got to see a lot of cats and, and such. Ate some snacks. But he has a couple of neat songs, kind of a 60s style protest songs that uh, maybe I'll give a little rockabilly flair to, just for fun, don't you know? And they're good. So uh, yeah, I brought his song folder with me. Everything's rocking. Didn't forget my guitar. Didn't forget my record player. Ha <laughs> ho! So, it's been good so far. I'll stop and show you what I picked up in a little bit. I'm going to see if I can find a few more things. It's I've got about two more hours of looking time. So, hang, hang with me. Sorry I didn't get to show you really much of me looking at records there. But we're sitting at the table in the house and me digging out a camera. That just invites too much scrutiny and, and uh, you know, don't want to make people nervous. Unless I need to make people nervous. All right. I like this. This is nice. 
driving on a little farm road that I don't ever remember driving on before. And that's a good thing, as Martha Stewart would have said. Probably before prison. So, uh, yeah, I got not a whole lot going this week. I think I might take a trip down from Mar to Oklahoma, check out some things there. Got to get back, though. Got a colonoscopy coming up on Friday. Oh, my. Yeah, there's family history of bad stuff there, so uh, I've got to get that done. I'm not really worried. I'm an optimistic dude, but anyway. So that's going to probably eat up my Thursday, Friday time. You know, you got to prepare for it. That's no fun. And then the day of it, it would be a lot of fun, I guess. I don't know. So uh, it might be a little light on episodes this week. I'm going to try to turn in a real good one on Wednesday. That's day after tomorrow for those of you with calendars. All right, so let's go see what I can find. Been a Monday, you just never know. Well, looky there, we've got an antique place open on a Monday. I've been here a time or two. Every now and then I'll find something good here too. So let's go on in, check it out. There are a few 45s I wasn't interested in. Probably the same for the 78s, but I don't remember seeing these before. So that's possibly good. Hopefully good. But ultimately, all in vain. Off or not. Oh, there we are. Oh, cousin Jimmy Swaggart. First cousin of Jerry Lee Lewis. Even did some recording at Sun Records. That was unissued. Of course, involved in a sex scandal, probably in the 80s. Yeah, in the 80s. That woman she, he was with had more hair on her butt than I did. No luck for me there, but I'm just glad to see a place open on a Monday. Let's go on now and probably head for home. Well, okay, I promised you yesterday that I would uh, show you what I've got. And today has already come. Yeah, I think I've got that timeline right. So this is what I got when I went out to the cat house. I've got, this is neat. Billy Boy on Vivid, which is a marvelous record. And this is really great. Tag Williams on Trumpet. Now, I've got to check, but I'm pretty sure this was recorded at Sun Records, or Memphis Recording Service in this case, by Sam Phillips. And this is cool. Nice bopper. Charlie Gore, another Billy Boy. This is neat. Got some guitar to it, or 60s rocker. The Granny Twist by Billy Hun and Twist and Freeze again and again and again and again. Look at there, all those Billy Boys. I just, whenever I see a decent record that I like and there's more than one copy, and if it's cheap, I just grab them all. Why not? This is nice, Oklahoma rocker. Son of Gun, Danny Kent and the Thunderbirds. Pretty cool. This is neat. It's in true stereo, which to me is a minus. But it's a Dallas thing, and it's, uh, or at least I think it is, El Rio? Mm, I don't know. I think it's I think it's a Texas thing. It was Preston Houston. Kind of a good double-sided hillbilly bopper, Tom Irvin. That's just good. Great Texas rocker, fantastically nice. We've got uh, the Shadows on the Malco. That's a good rocker from i think south texas another granny twist another granny twist and yeah, neat and then we've got night air by the mints this is on a north texas label right up by the oaky border pledge of love by ken copeland yeah the evangelist kenneth copeland the one who just proclaimed he wants he's he's been told he will be the first billionaire preacher isn't that great? We're all happy for him. Isn't that just marvelous? If you can find it, there's an old tape from probably the 80s or so. 
it's him in, in church, and it's called the Laughing Preacher. He's got a guest preacher in that big mega church, a big old rotund fella, fat guy. And uh, he starts laughing, and then they start laughing. He starts laughing. Pretty soon, everybody, all thousands of them are laughing and rolling in the aisles. It's a fun thing to watch and will uplift your day. Nice condition wax, water damage label, the masks out of Dallas, the five masks. And then I've got multiple copies of the Chocolate Cowboy, which is, well, it's just an odd record. And I, I do believe, if memory serves me right, like Charlie Pride, he was an African-American country singer early on in the game. This is late 60s or so. Chantilly Lace, another oaky record. Both of these are, well, that's Tulsa. This is Muskogee, Bobby McBride. And then I've just got extra copies of either one of those. So I got good stuff. I'm happy. I can work with this. I can make it work. So uh, tomorrow I've got a big trip planned. Mega episode, I hope. Unless things go tits up or south. So I'll see you later. I buy old records. Yada, yada, yada. Love you long time. Bye.